So guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are jumping back on the Clio 197. Very exciting things are happening because you guys saw in the last episode, everything's gutted out. There's tons of stuff happening with this thing and we've just walked in to George setting up the Raptor gun ready so actually Raptor, the interior of this thing. Something that, it's not Raptor, but we're calling it Raptor today because we're not actually using Raptor, although, as I was just gonna say, we've used Raptor on one of my cars in the past, the 300C, we Raptored the outside. So we'd already sort of done a video with the Raptor product. Today we'll be using something uh, different, I suppose, something that's a different name at least. It is called Tough Ox. Look at that, so that's what we're gonna use in today. The gun is actually ready to go, so we're jumping straight in with today's video, but I'll show you around the car. We do have, of course, you know, noise in the background. We are in an active workshop, so we're gonna have a look around the car because so much seems to be happening on this thing every time I walk in. So, as you'll see, the car is completely sanded inside. Everything is out, everything is taped up. Windows are taped up. The wiring that's still in the car is all taped up and out of the way because of course you guys would have seen the cage going in this. George in the background there, just doing some test shots. Don't do it. <laughs> Knew that was coming. Dan, all right. Hi. Look at them door cards. Yeah, I know. They're it. sick, aren't they? Yeah. So, yeah, where, where are these from, George? Uh, door this, cards? It's same guy that does these. Same guy, track car aero. Track car door cards. Track car door cards. Track track door cards. Door cards. So this is track car track car door cards and um yeah they're really really cool i'll show you the driver's side actually because that's even cooler in my opinion go on is it, 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 it it's something up there is there oh yeah track car door card there we go love to see it yeah these are the door cards so complete replacement panel and there this is cool look at that that's so cool but of course we're jumping straight in with today's video. We'll do some overlay of this happening. It's really exciting actually because it was something that, you know, these guys were thinking about actually rapturing the inside. So yeah, we'll see how it goes. Of course, we have raptured something in the past. We've done a full car. Doing an interior on a track car could be a, quite a good idea. We'll see how it comes out. Right, so these bits are done. So uh, what I didn't actually show you because we're uh, jumping straight in today's video is that the mounts for the seats are actually in. So this is all welded in, ready to go. And of course, all the mounting points for the roll cage are ready. And that's why we've got to this stage today because that's where uh, the custom kick plates are gonna go. So because obviously this car is completely stripped out, new kick panels or kick plates are gonna go there they're actually being currently mocked up at the moment. They're pretty much ready to go. They just need uh, coating in some grip tape, something like that. But no point in, uh, you know, putting the Raptor or Tough Ox that we're using today on that part because it will be covered very, very soon. As you can see, though, it's going down really, really quickly and really well. The last time I remember doing uh, the Raptor, especially as George comes past me, is that uh, it goes down so quickly um, and efficiently. It covers really, really well. And this needs to be doing exactly the same thing. Here he is. Loves it. <laughs> he loves it. <laughs> So 
so one can down as you guys can see on the floor there and this is how far we've got so this is again hardener uh, it's the tin in there to make it black and a full can of this stuff and we've been able to get to the seat bases here uh, the rear where you usually put your feet both sides and then across the beam there and up this side so that's a full cans worth and that's the coverage we've been able to get from this particular product actually really good it's gone quite far uh, i remember from uh you know when we did my full car it was about five bottles to do a full car so i reckon three should probably do this if you've got a good bit of coverage but yeah it's definitely getting there george over here getting the next don't drop it on camera mate i've seen that you're supposed to be a professional what? I'm not professional. you're not a professional uh, we've got the hardener going in here into just turn that for everyone the tough ox ox because it's not a raptor is it not it's right. an ox um, so yeah, can number two coming up, we'll see how far that gets us. <laughs> what was that? Oh dear. So yeah, round two, here we go, uh, with another can. This might actually cover the whole car. This might do it, we'll see. So we left the building for a bit. We put the dyno fan on uh, for a bit to get all of the horrible, well, stuff that's in the atmosphere from the spray in. Um, of course, at the garage have a fantastic dyno extraction system. Of course, we wouldn't be doing this in uh, just a normal garage without that. So that's really, really sped up the process. Obviously me running in and out, making sure I'm getting all the content for you guys, but not standing in here getting all of the uh, disgusting horrible uh, toxic i'm gonna say stuff that's in the atmosphere from stuff like this so yeah none of that in my mouth which is what we want uh finished result though this was only with two cans again and it has come out really really well it's covered so quickly again with the raptor stuff this stuff it covers so quickly and so well but you do go through it quite quickly as well so this is two cans and it's about I'd say we've been on about 10, 15 minutes actually spraying time. Um, that's mainly down to, you know, the little nooks and crannies when doing the inside of a car. The big reality of doing this more than anything was that, you know, you can put wheels and stuff in here. You can jump in and out if you want to. You know, there's no worries of scratching the inside of the car up now uh, we were just talking a minute ago oh you know why didn't we paint it well the idea of painting it is great it would look very good but of course raptoring the inside so you can put stuff in you can stand in it you know it's not too um easy to scratch is quite a good thing so yeah whole interior is pretty much done now uh, we'll just show you guys around here again we haven't gone in these parts because the foot plates going in but everything all the way up to b pillars c pillars 
everything like that is uh, it's pretty much done and it looks really good it's pretty much dry already as well after like you know 15 20 minutes of just leaving with the extraction on it's done a really good job but we will leave it for a little bit longer and uh yeah it should be nice and durable once everything is in once that orange cage goes in as well the contrast between the black with the orange is going to look so good